This picture is about the transistor. There are three transistors here in this collection of small electronic parts. The original point contact type, the junction type, and the phototransistor. And here is a more complex type of transistor. This is called the junction tetrode. These tiny transistors are destined to play a big part in our electronic age. They will make possible smaller, more compact electronic devices that will need less maintenance and have a longer life. Many new and improved types of transistors have followed the early models. But transistors are no longer just an experiment. Here, they are being produced at the Allentown, Pennsylvania plant of Western Electric, the manufacturing and supply unit of the Bell system. Different types for different purposes. Because they are so tiny, transistors have made it possible to miniaturize many types of electronic equipment. This equipment requires less space and will cost less to maintain. Many manufacturers have been licensed to produce transistors and devise new applications. Through their efforts, you may be able to get music with a flick of your wrist from the so-called Dick Tracy radio. Transistors will take their place in the complex calculating machines that have often been called electronic brains because they enable man to save days, months, even years in solving mathematical problems. Substituting transistors for tubes, such a versatile machine could fit into a good-sized room and power and cooling needs would be relatively low. With the transistor, man has gone far toward matching some of the capacity of the human brain. He has done it with imagination, with the inventiveness and teamwork of the Bell Telephone scientists who are looking forward to the age just beyond the age of electronics. <laughs>